Uh, what's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, and I have something I want to speak about. So I was passed out. All right, I was laying down trying to get some sleep, and I seen this notification. All right, I clicked on it, and Frank, this is for you. What you guys don't realize is. What Devin Marlowe has done to deserve what I did to him. And this is the reason I embarrassed him in front of everybody like I did. And if you agree or disagree with me, that's fine. That's your opinion. But I had a damn good reason as to what I did. Because you guys know me. I don't ever do anything without reason. Now, Devin is one of those arrogant motherfuckers who thinks that he's better than everyone on the whole planet. Like, this dude is so arrogant. He thinks that everybody owes him everything. He acts like he knows a lot more than a 27-year-old or a 30-year-old. And I've witnessed this firsthand multiple times. And not only that, but this man, or this child, I should say, because he's only 19, compared to me, he's a fucking child. But this man also humiliated two of my brothers, Ethan and Ricardo. He talked shit about them, and I confronted him. And knowing very well, because you guys know I'm a very big part of the car community, have been my entire life. Alright. But this man claims to know everything about cars. Which, in all given credit, he does know a lot. But he thinks that just because he knows a little bit about cars, that that makes him a better driver than me within the racing scene. If you guys don't know, I am very big on the racing scene. Have been since the first Fast and Furious when I got my first game, Need for Speed Underground 2. For me, that's where it all But this man, he likes to Photoshop. He loves to Photoshop images. I've caught him doing it before. This man loves to Photoshop images and make it look like he's better than everyone else. Like, he could just flat out beat my time. When I worked hard to get my reputation in the car community that I have and the status that I have, as a racing style gamer. I'm currently one of the top ranked racers in the world for Underground 2, Pro Street, and several other racing games that I have played in the past. So, you know, I've really worked really hard to get to where I'm at in that aspect. But what does this man do to try to ruin my reputation he takes makes images in photoshop and then basically sends them to me acting as if they're screenshots and i've seen enough photoshopped images in my when something's photoshopped and there are ways of doing it professionally to where it's very hard to tell but i've seen people use Photoshop so many times and I kind of picked up on it here and there. Like I've done edits with it in the past myself for some of my art pieces. You know, I've used different effects in Photoshop. So I, I kind of know it works. 
down, but this man sat there and photoshopped several images, laying claim to fame that he has no right laying claim to. Hey, what's up, Susanna? But this man not only did that, but this man also bashed on two of my best friends who are not only my best friends, but my brothers and teammates for our gaming team. This man blatantly disrespected them by calling them names that he did not earn the right to call them by. When me, I I earned my respect with my two teammates there. I showed them what I can do. I earned their respect. He, however, did not. And then also, what does this man do? He attacks my music. Saying that I didn't have proof of you know, me making it in the music industry. And then when I then confronted him with the footage and the screenshots, the actual screenshots of my stuff in the stores with my stage name on all my stuff and on Spotify and Google Play and iTunes and everything like that, he then proceeded to tell me this exactly, that... I only have 37 listeners, and those 37 listeners is not making it in the music industry, and that it's only a start, and that that's not really making it. Yes, it is. The minute you hit iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Store, Amazon, you have officially made it as a professional in the music industry by music industry standards. Yes, I might not have an actual paying label backing me, but I still have a label nonetheless with some of my best friends and brothers, which one one of them is watching right now. Shout out to Aiden, a.k.a. Young Fox from Bloodshot Records. So that meme that I of me with my two brothers, Ethan and Ricardo, and Devin Marlowe underneath, that says these are real champions above where our pictures are and then down below that this is a wannabe trying to be a driver. That meme that I posted up earlier, I did not do that to spite anybody. I did that to teach him a lesson, to humiliate him, to show him humility, and to show him that he has no right doing what he's doing, and that if he does those things, there will be consequences. I was not doing it to be a dick. I was not doing it to be an asshole. I was doing it to humiliate him, to embarrass him, so that he won't do this kind of thing ever again. Because, see, me and my brothers, Ethan and Ricardo, we have all earned our place within the car community. You guys can go on to the s World community. Everybody there knows me. I'm cool with everybody. Well, mostly cool with everybody there. There are a few people that I'm kind of on the fence with here and there. But for the most part, a lot of people within the car community know me. A lot of people on DeviantArt and ArtStation know me for my, you know, my very unique and intricate car concept designs that I've done. Um, especially within the S-Tuner world community. I've done a lot of drift builds. I've done a lot of drag builds. I've done some custom cars that people really know me for and that they really enjoy seeing. And for Devin to come off doing what he did, laying claim to fame that he has no right laying claim to, that's not right. Him doing that is just like the modders that mod these games to try to set these records that they don't work hard for. Okay. I work hard to maintain the reputation and the status that I hold, not only as a racing style gamer, but as a car enthusiast and a member of the car community. I work very hard every day on that.
and for somebody like Devin to come along and try to tarnish my reputation, not only as a member of the car community, but as a racing style gamer in general, that's not right. Like, I'd never walk up to somebody and be like, hey, I bet I can beat you. And then I sit there and I mod my game to where I can. I'm not like that. I worked hard to break and set the records that I did break and set. I worked hard every day to get to where I'm at. Just because I don't have the subscriber counts that match up with what I've done, that doesn't mean I'm, I'm not one of the best. There have been people in the past that have done it, that have done what I've done and have not gotten that kind of views. I've gotten offers from major companies that I've had to turn down because I didn't have the subscriber count, which is understandable. And the most notable to date are Hoonigan and Flying Lizard. That's why I called out and humiliated Devin Marlowe like I did in that meme, to teach him a lesson. It was not to bash on him. It was not to degrade or bring him down. It was to humiliate him and show him that he cannot be doing this stuff. And to get more into detail about my brothers, Ethan and Ricardo, and what he did to them, See, I he came off because like Devin's not black, first off, which is only to say that this dude is white, this dude's as pale white as a ghost, and I mean beyond pale white, like this dude's whiter than me. And he sits there and says he's black when he's not, he is white as a fucking ghost. He then proceeded to call. My brothers, Ethan and Ricardo, who are black, are actually from the country of Trinidad, so they are black. Not being racist, just saying. But he then proceeded to call them the, the N-word. And with them, that does not sit right. And the reason why is because he did not earn their respect. Like, when me and the two of them do it, it's just joking around. We know each other's joking. But Devin did it as a means to try to degrade. Where, like I said before, when me and them do it, it's just joking around. It's having fun. It's, you know, all good fun between brothers. But with Devin Marlowe, he did it to bring them down, to degrade them, and humiliate them. And at that moment, that's when I took him off my block list and I confronted him. And soon after, he had a friend of his confront me about shit, which was not okay. Which I wound up talking to him and explaining what he had done. And then blocking that guy just flat out. So for those of you that don't think I had the right to make that meme, I want you guys to look back at this and realize that yes, like yes, I'm a very humble guy. When I need to be humble, I'm very humble in what I do and in my ways. But there's also a time for humility, to embarrass, to teach a lesson. And that's what I was doing, teaching a lesson, trying to embarrass him enough to where he will not do that stuff again. Because think about it this way. You do embarrass somebody enough. 
Like, think about this. Have you ever been embarrassed in your life by your parents or whatever? And it was for something like, well, now it's silly, but back then, you thought it was awfully, like, super awful. And because they embarrassed you for it, you never did that thing again. That's what I was doing with Devin. By putting him on the spot and embarrassing him in front of everybody, I was teaching him a lesson to show him that that is not the right way you go about doing what he was trying to do. And if you guys want proof of my records that I have set and broken, minus the one that I broke yesterday for the Superbike 16 game for the Android, because my screen recorder will not work right now for some reason on my Chromebook, but I am trying to fix that problem. And as soon as I can get the footage, I will. I do plan on going back and redoing that run and uploading the footage to YouTube. But other than that, every record that I have set and broken is on YouTube or on Facebook. Sometimes both. It depends on what record you're looking for. If you're looking for me beating the record on Palm Hill for the fastest time on Palm Hill on Need for Speed Underground 2 on console, I have both on YouTube and I have it on Facebook. I have two different clips. Mm, pardon me. I have two different clips. Devin tried to claim the records that he is not set. And he gave me his YouTube name and everything. I looked him up. Yes, he does have a channel. He has not set any records. He is just another wannabe think. He thinks that he's better than everybody. Because in his mind, he is. But in reality, we all know that the facts speak for themselves. And that is my point right there. I was not trying to embarrass him to make fun of him or tear him down. I was doing it to teach him a lesson. That's why I made that meme that I did. That's why I did what I did because he not only disrespected myself and two of my best but he also laid claim to fame that he has no right to and has not earned. He has not earned their respect. He has lost my respect. And he doesn't need to be doing this flat out. And if you still don't agree with me by the end of this, that's fine. You can you know, unfriend me, block me, do whatever. But I had a reason for doing what I did. I had every right and reason to do what I did. Because as I said, there's a time for being humble and kind. And then there's a time for embarrassment and humility. And one of those times for humility was earlier today. To embarrass him and show him that he cannot be doing this. That was my reason for making that meme that I made. And you can agree with it or disagree with it. Yeah, that meme is staying up there. I am not taking it down. I am leaving it up there to make an example out of him and to show him that he cannot be doing this. No, I'm not an internet warrior or anything like that. So don't go thinking that. But I am brave enough to do what I did and show him that his ways of what he's doing is wrong. So I hope you guys have an understanding of why I did what I did with that meme. 
and I hope you guys understand the reasoning behind it and get a little bit more in depth not only about my lifestyle and the car and where I come from, but what happens when you come off the way do. Especially in the car community. You come off the wrong way in the car community, they will eat you alive. The people in the car community will eat you alive. I know I've had to go through that myself. When I first came in the car community, I'll admit, I thought I knew everything. And then I sat down and I learned. That's how it works. You get humiliated, you learn. You sit down. You're like, okay, now that like I know this, I apologize that I came off like that. And then you sit down and you learn. See, you're getting it twisted, Frank. That's not it. You need to sit down and realize that there is a method behind what I was doing. Like I said, I was not out to demean him. I was not out to to belittle or tear him down. I was out to teach him a lesson that myself and my brothers were unable to show him we were unable to show him so i really had no other choice but to show him hey this is what happens when you try to demean myself you try to demean my family you talk shit about my career and you're just a straight up dick which he was he was a straight up dick He tried to embarrass me. It failed. So you can think bad about me all you want. I don't care. But I had every reason to post what I posted. And whether you agree or disagree. Don't matter to me. And that's where you're wrong, Frank. Just because I do that does not make me the same as them. Take a look back at what I said in this video. Listen closely to what I was saying and listen to my reasoning. I had a reason to do what I did. It was not to embarrass or make fun of him. It was to teach him a lesson. Because this man came off and tried to embarrass me and my friends. Therefore, I reacted accordingly to teach him a lesson, to show him you cannot do this. Because this man's made multiple memes of me in the past. So like, I've seen every meme that everybody's made about me, I've seen it, it don't bother me none. Hell, honestly, at this point, I laugh at half of them. Like, I'll be straight up honest, a lot of the memes that I have made about me, I laugh at. Because they don't affect me. But this man tries to lay claim to fame that he has not earned. So you can sit there and say whatever you want about me, Frank, but that does not change the facts. The facts speak for themselves. And if you don't want to hear the facts or see the facts, then you can get the fuck off my friends list. I have no issue with putting your ass on block. So if you don't want to listen to my reasoning, then what are you even doing here? But as for the rest of you guys, I hope you guys understand why I did what I did and the reasoning behind what I did. And that it shows you a little more about, you know, what really goes on. Because as I said, I had a very good reason as to why I did what I did. Granted, yes, controversial stuff like this does happen with me a lot. I do get called out on it. But what do you expect when somebody tries to disgrace not only your reputation and your place within the car community and the racing scene, 
but also tries to disgrace you and demean your career as a music artist by saying that you're not making it, that you're not doing this, that you're, you know, this and that, but you're not doing this. Like, when, all right, he talked shit about my status in the community, and that's fine. I have people doing that all the time. All right, that's typical. But when you come and attack my career, not only as a racing style gamer, but as a music artist on the professional level, and sit there and say that I have not made it when I have the clear stats to prove it, that's when you take things way too far. That's when you take things out of proportion. Because you do that, I'm more than likely going to react and say, hey, you want to do this? You want to attack my career and my family? Well, here's what you're going to get in return. You're going to get embarrassed, and you're going to be shown that you can't do this. As I said, I was not doing it to demean him. I was not doing it to degrade or make fun of him. I was doing it to show him a lesson, humility, in its most pure form nowadays, which is making of somebody and messing with them. As I said, I was not doing it to demean him or to degrade or belittle him at all. I was doing it to teach him a lesson. And I hope you guys understand that now. Now, if you guys don't, I need to hop off here. I need to get back to sleep because my sister's coming over here tomorrow who I have not seen in eight plus years. So that's going to be awesome. And I may go live with her with you guys. I don't know. I might. But I do know that I will be getting some pictures with her for sure. So, Steph, if you're watching this, sis, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Well, today, now. But I can't wait to see you later on today, sis. Love you. And I hope you guys understand why I did what I did. Peace. And I also hope you guys have a good rest of the night or day wherever you guys are at in the world. Because I know a lot of y'all are in different countries. So if it's nighttime for you guys, I hope y'all are having a good night. And if it's daytime, I hope you guys are having a good day too. So with that being said, I'm out of here, man. Peace.